Hello undercover agents and lovers of high-speed espionage. Today, we're activating stealth mode and diving into Spy Hunter, a fast-paced driving game adapted to the NES by Sunsoft after its arcade debut by Valley Midway. Slip behind the wheel of the G6155 Interceptor, a car equipped for combat, as you navigate treacherous roads and fend off enemy agents. Gameplay 3 out of 5 Spy Hunter attempts to capture the thrill of the arcade original, blending driving with action-packed combat. Players dodge civilian cars while taking out enemy vehicles with an array of weapons. However, the transition from arcade to NES wasn't seamless, controls can be tricky, and the game's difficulty might feel punishing at times. Controls and User Interface 2.7 out of 5 The controls are a bit finicky, especially when making precise maneuvers or aiming weapons. Mastering them is part of the challenge, though it might feel more frustrating than fun. The UI is basic, offering vital stats like score and weapon availability. Visual Elements 3.2 out of 5 Spy Hunter offers decent graphics for its time. The NES version captures the essence of the arcade game, presenting a top-down view of highways, enemies, and various terrains. However, it lacks the visual polish seen in other NES titles. Audio Elements 3.1 out of 5 The game's rendition of Henry Moncini's Peter Gunn theme is iconic and adds to the spy vibe, though it can become repetitive over extended play sessions. Sound effects, from the roar of engines to weapon blasts, are satisfactory. Replay Value 2.8 out of 5 While chasing high scores and mastering the challenging controls might entice some players, Spy Hunter offers limited variety in gameplay to keep everyone consistently engaged. Overall score 2.9 out of 5 Spy Hunter on the NES is a nostalgic nod to its arcade predecessor, though it may not offer a universally appealing experience. It's a game that divides players, some relishing its difficulty and retro charm, while others might be put off by its controls and repetitive nature. While Spy Hunter stands as a testament to the early days of vehicular combat games, its NES version doesn't fully capture the magic of its arcade counterpart, serving as a reminder of the challenges of adapting arcade hits for home consoles. Agents, we've raced and rumbled through the covered world of Spy Hunter. Was your mission a success, or were you outpaced by enemy agents? Share your classified experiences below. If this retro reconnaissance resonated with you, hit the like button, subscribe, and join us for more gaming debriefs. Until the next mission, stealthy and game on.